Hey guys, it's me, Margo. Welcome to part 12 of my Willow Creek remodel series where I am renovating or building every single lot in Willow Creek. If you would like more details on the requirements for this series, they are in the description box below. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. They are in the description box below. So if you would like to do this along with me, um, not that it's a super original idea or anything, but if you would also like to renovate Willow Creek, I would love to see what you come up with. But um, in the meantime, all of my remodels are available in the gallery. So if you would like to make my Willow Creek your Willow Creek, that would be awesome. But today I am remodeling the library. So it's called Willow Creek Archives. I did transform one of the other lots, the museum, into a restaurant, um, but I'm keeping this a library because I do like having a library in my towns um, or in the neighborhood. I just, I never really use museums, so that's why I wanted to change the museum to a restaurant because I do like having restaurants in town more than a museum, so yeah. Um, I don't change much about the overall feel of the library. I just, I didn't really think it looked like a library. Like, I've never been to a library where all the bookshelves are only along the walls. And I feel like that's how a lot of libraries are in The Sims for some reason. Um, I guess maybe having them out in the middle like I, I do here makes it kind of harder to, like, see your Sims and let them interact. But I don't know. I just think it's weird, like, a library with all the books against the wall. Because there's, like, rows of shelves usually. Um, I don't really do rows per se, but I do put some out in the middle as you can see here because that's just kind of more how most libraries I've been to look. So I just wanted to be more realistic. Um, I do kind of get annoyed with like the requirements for a library. You're required to have a desk, but I prefer to use tables at the library because you can put more than one chair there and like you can put the computer with the chair. It doesn't have to go in the middle like it does at a desk, but you still have to put desks in there, which kind of bugs me, but whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just, I like having computers in there. Well, actually, I think it's a requirement for the lot, but um, I try to put a computer at least in every like section of desks slash tables. Um, especially if, because like sometimes I get in the mode where like I want to play gameplay without any cheats. So like a lot of the time my Sims can't afford a computer, so I'll go to the library a lot if they want to use a computer or if they're like really bored and want to play a game, I'll send my Sim to the library because there's always computers there. I had a really hard time matching like the wood trim on the walls with the red the cherry red floors that I wanted to use like there's no cherry red trim that I could find I ended up changing it later I think because I was getting really annoyed like I don't know I want it to at least be similar like they don't have to be the exact same color but like the really brown with the really cherry red looked weird but I didn't like the white either I don't know I end up changing it I'm pretty sure the walls and the floor <laughs> I liked the cherry red. I thought that was pretty, and I liked the bookshelves, and I wanted the floor to match, but it's just not in the stars, I guess. Um, but this would be, like, a pretty awesome library. When I get to the upstairs, um, a pretty awesome library, like, meaning if it was real, because um, there's, like, you can look down at the rest of it, and it's, like, kind of reminds me of Barnes & Noble, how if you, I don't know if this is how the Barnes & Noble is by you, but by me, you, like, go upstairs, and then you can, it's, like, you can look down at the rest of the people and they kind of look like little ants or like you're watching a show or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but I hate that little hallway behind the stairs. Like I don't know what to do with it. And I'm kind of realizing, I don't know if there's a door that goes into that room. Oh, there is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, Oh God, can you even get into that kid's space? Cause I don't know if there's a door. There's a door. It's fine. But I did really like the kid's room area. Um, most libraries I go to have a little kid space. I kind of wish it was more open and I had rearranged the bathrooms a little bit so that it was just kind of like an open space. But if you want to see a really cool library, you should go download my dusty bookshelf um, build or whatever. It's in the gallery, but I also have a video of it on here. If you just go to my, um, go to my page and go to my um, community builds playlist, it's in there. It's my favorite. It's really hodgepodge and like mismatched, but it's just like, well, not really at all, but it reminds me of this um, used bookstore in my town, and I love it. It's very, like, eclectic, I guess you could say, maybe, and, like, mismatched, and it's cool. And it has a cool kid space, but it's all kind of more, like, open, but, like, with different, like, sections, like, different areas. You can kind of tell that, like, one area will probably have a certain type of books, you know, kind of how they organize bookstores by, like, there's hobby section, and then, like, 
romance literature and all that stuff. So anyways, fun little kids room with toys and stuff so they can hang out in there. And this is what I was talking about. It kind of has like the balcony that looks over the lower level, which I like. But I do think it's weird that all the bookshelves are like pushed up against the wall and there's just like one and then one. Like I think it should be like all bookshelves, but that's just a little too much. So it doesn't really leave much room for places to sit either, especially because like this outer like platform area is pretty narrow. I guess it's not really a platform, but like the walking, well, the walkways are pretty narrow up here. So that is my favorite bookshelf. It's the Muse. It's one that you have to unlock. Like obviously you don't have to unlock it for a community lot, but I like it because it sits really close up against the wall which is why I used it up here because like I said the walking areas are really narrow so I wanted it to be like I didn't want it to be too cramped but I did I did originally want to put like kind of a conversation area up here with like chairs like facing each other not like all in a line but just, there's just not the space for it So I guess you'll just have to mind your own business and read instead of hanging out. Ideally, I would put a coffee shop up there, but I would pretty much have to completely take out the like balcony part, which I really liked. So I didn't do that. Um, in the back, I intended it to kind of be like a place for like chess tournaments. So I end up using like a bunch of chess tables, but then it ended up looking weird. So I got rid of some of them, but there's still chess tables back here. I don't know if that's a requirement for a library or not. I don't think it's a requirement for the lot, but... I like having them because they're nice. So they get to hang out in the backyard and then little tables out here in case you want to read outside. And then I thought the like the outdoor balconies were kind of weird that they were bare, but they were also really narrow. So it was kind of hard to put anything there, but I do end up putting some um, tables and chairs out there as well because yeah. They're just, they're just empty, which I think is odd. For some reason, I felt the need to put a barbecue out there, which I don't know why you would go to the library and barbecue, but I don't know. I get really annoyed when I'm somewhere and my Sims are hungry and then I have to leave the lot. So like sometimes if I can, I like sneak in a little thing to make food at a lot because I don't know. Especially when I start a new gameplay, like I just want my Sims to make a lot of friends. So I'll just go somewhere where a lot of people go, but there's not a lot to do. Like not a lot to distract people because like, I don't know if this is a problem for you, but have you ever like invited people over and the first thing they do is go and get on your computer and then they like don't want to talk to you? Like that's pretty much how I would be if I like in real life, if I was like in Sims, but like in real life in Sims, that makes no sense. But anyways, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's just so annoying because you're like trying to like talk to them and hang out with them and they're like, mm, I'm just going to play Sims. <laughs> Hashtag me. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm just taking pictures of the lot now. I used to edit this part out of my videos, but I decided to leave it in because it's kind of nice to see, like, through my pictures how everything is arranged. Because when you see the pictures, it's kind of like disjointed sections, and you're like, wait, where's that at? So I leave that in there. I don't know. Tell me if it's annoying because I'm kind of jumping around a lot, but... Oh, I forgot to do the desk, so I had to go put the desks in. So annoying. But, um... Let me know if that's annoying and I'll, I'll edit it out again. But I, I kind of left it in there because it's kind of nice to see how everything's laid out all finished and stuff. So, yeah, final touches. And then making it a teen hangout, good schools or whatever. Or no, kids learn better here or whatever. Um, yeah, so that is the last community lot that I will be doing. Um, I've done the gym and the library. No, wait, sorry. I've done the gym and the museum, which is now a restaurant. And... Uh, what was the other one? I feel like there was another one, but I'm blanking on what it is. But anyways, final pictures of the library. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you would like to participate in this Sims remodel, then go ahead and tag me in it. I'd love to see what you come up with. Like I said, this is part 12, and if you haven't seen parts 1 through 11, there's a link below to the playlist that all of these videos are featured in. You can just hit play all and kind of binge watch all of them if you feel like it. <laughs> That's kind of a lot, but hey, I've done worse for sure. I go on some pretty hard Sims binges. So, yeah, I was hoping I would keep talking until the end of the video, but that's not really happening. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. They're all margarita, and there are direct links in the description box below. I try to put links for everything because it's just so much easier to click it than having to go there and, like, type it in yourself. So I try to make things easy for you. So go ahead and follow me there. 
you can check out my gallery page. It's linked below as well. Um, and a link directly to this lot is down there too. So I'm really easy to find. Everything is margarita. Just type it in. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching and tune into my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.